How's it going YouTube? As I'm sure you can tell by the title, we're going to be doing a review today of the Centerfold Holster by MIE Productions. Uh, just a quick unboxing, this is what you get it in. It's just a soft, you know, priority mail shipping package. Nothing fancy, nothing, you know, to write home about. Uh, the main guts of it here, of course, is your holster, which we'll do a in-depth review here in a minute of this. But get your holster see what else comes in here you get a little card bound telling you who they are and how to set up the holster because it comes with some clips and stuff for some addis uh, from a, for additional with additional clips to you know set it up different ways if you so choose let's see nice little sticker uh, everything and then that'll be it that's all you get out of the bag. You get an additional belt clip. Nice clip. Whatever you cut to come on the on the holster, but you get an additional one because if you would like to split this, which we'll go over later when I do an in-depth review of it, you uh then you can put another one right here so you can have two on your uh on your gun side, and then you still got your one for your for your mag. So there's that. And then it also, which I thought was really cool, comes with four clips so you can make this outside the waistband holster if you so choose and you just use the hardware that's already on the holster for that if you so choose to do that and then also comes with one of these little wings that most holsters are coming with now you can put it right here and it kind of helps push that in I, I took it off just to play around with it earlier I was checking out just to make sure everything worked like they said it worked before I did a review for y'all so uh, yeah we'll do an in-depth review here in just a second Alright, here we go. We're going to go a little more in depth with the holster. Like I said earlier, this is the MIE Production Centerfold AIWB, which is appendix inside the waistband holster that's for the P365. So, this gun here, clear. It's for this gun with the uh, Recover Tactical Rail and the Olight PL Mini 2. Great combination. I've been looking for a holster to accommodate this combination for a while and this is the first one this is the first holster that I've been able to find for the P365 the PL Mini 2 with the recover tactical rail and that'll also take a spare mag and so I mean MIE I love this holster I mean it works out pretty good uh, just for the record they did not send me this holster they did not give me a discount for it in any way shape or form this is just to show you that it was paid for in full by me and uh yeah that's the information on it for anybody who wants it uh, i placed this order on june 5th today what is today today is july 10th so took a little over a month a month and five days or so to get this holster back which isn't bad it says on their website that they have like a three to four week lead time but uh yeah i mean i i like it it fits good on both you get a good audible well, not really so much an audible click on the on the mag side. But I mean, it's still, you feel it locking the place. Neither the gun nor the mag is coming out of there. They are both in there solid. But, I mean, it's still not to the point that you can't get it back out of there. And also, another thing I was worried about was how this is cut. It's got plenty of room for you to get under there while it's on your belt. And I'll show you that here in a minute. But, while like, you can still get in there. See, my knuckles and everything can get under there perfectly fine and get in and get a good solid grip, good consistent grip every time. Uh, let's get all this out of here. There's multiple areas to adjust the retention. So you got these two and it's just a Phillips screwdriver. So you can adjust these, these right here. You can adjust, uh, this is your main retention clip on this side. This is, these two right here are for if you want to install the concealed claw. See if I can get you a picture of that to help it push in on your belt. I don't have the need for it, and that just pushes it into my gut a little bit. So I took it off. Works fine for me. Uh, something I really I thought was really cool. You can disassemble it right here and separate your holster from your mag carrier. And then they send you this, no extra cost. They send you a third clip, and so that way you can still have two clips on your holster side, and then you can still have the one on your mag carrier. And also they send you four clips to mount this outside the waistband so you can take take all these all your hardware and stuff off put on these 
right there on the back side and then you have an outside the waistband holster that you can just convert this one to so you don't have to buy two different holsters this one will work perfect it's got a lot of areas you can adjust on the clips themselves you've got five holes on each one to move them up to move them up or down so I hold this for you right and then on the uh, holster itself it's got three holes right here and then I think you just have the two holes right here but to adjust so to furthermore adjust it so you can't really adjust this one except for the clip this one you can adjust multiple different ways uh, like I already said you can adjust your retention and your retention it's set up on this little nub so when this is push close you got this nub right here off your lever and if you see right here this is where that lever it goes in there just like this and then it skips that little spot and then it goes into a valley or a, a kind of a ditch so to speak where it actually clips into place so your retention is built around your light but even with that this thing will still and it's not as snug but it will still hold it without the o -lock, without the PL Mini 2 being on there which I really like if the retention isn't as good you can definitely shake it out but I mean you know if once you got this on got your belt on it's going to help hold it there and just for whatever reason if you decide you need to take this off for charging purposes or whatever you can still run this you know and it's still going to hold it in there well enough as long as you're not doing the, the FBI backflips or whatever you want to call it you know you can still use that and then as soon as you get this charged up and ready to go you just slap it back on there I hope I can get it set up right slap that back on there there you go now you got good solid retention uh, I guess I'll show you how to put it on slip it in clip and I'm sure once I've had a few more reps with this I haven't got to train with this at all it's just come in today so I was trying I'm just doing a first impressions video today and then after I get some reps in with it and everything I'll take it to the range with me and let you see how it actually runs but this is for those of y'all who watched the other video this is the relentless tactical holster I was using and when it got wore in the gun was seated down too far in there so when it was hooked on my belt there was no room for me to get my fingers in between the my belt and pants and under here because it was just it was pretty much sitting down like that or even a little behind it so that's something I'm really excited with here as you can see that you got plenty of room right here to get under there get a good consistent grip and do what you need to do with it put it back in there holds the mag just fine so I mean a lot of people I've, I've got some friends and stuff that were you know not complaining but trying to down talk this gun because of its size saying you know you wouldn't have enough capacity or whatever but I mean just like this I'm not carrying anything extravagant you know I've got the this mag which holds 10 I've got my spare mag which holds 15 so if you count the one and the two you got 26 rounds to do whatever it is you need to do so I mean I definitely I like the gun I like this holster I like the the setup I have you know with the PL Mini 2 the rail that's on it didn't add a whole lot of bulk as I've covered in my other videos just I'm real happy with all these products but uh the holster let's see if we can get into more a little bit on it it's made with the the 80 thousandths thick kydex it's got the full sweat guard which I think on their website it doesn't give you an option of a high, option of high medium and low it's just either you want the sweat guard or you don't um, like I say, you can. I think I've already said this, but you can separate these two pieces. And this is another thing I thought was pretty cool. All this is is a piece of leather back here, and it's just got eight holes drilled in it to where you can attach these two. It gives it plenty of flex, and you know, take it apart if you want and run these two separately, or if you just for whatever reason don't want to run your mag carrier one day, throw your spare mag in your pocket. Then you can run this, and it comes with the spare clip, you know, to run that on there. So real cool stuff. Uh, lead time on this it says on the website three to four weeks it's pretty accurate to what it was I think it you know like I just said it's like a month and a few days it took me to get this back but you know it, it says that on the website so it wasn't like it was a, a bad deal but you know you can take you can take that off of there and just have this single piece and you can run that you know three o'clock four thirty you know appendix you can run them both you can run them separate it's just it's real versatile you can use the clips and run it outside the waistband either together or separate you know it comes with four four outside the waistband belt loop clips so that way you can run both of these outside the waistband in separate areas if that's how you want to do it you know it's just real modular I like it it's uh 
all the edges it's real nice fit and finish nothing's rough on here nothing's gonna you know give you any kind of scratches or rub you raw or nothing it's you know beveled in the right places so I mean I was doing this earlier where I was sitting down and squatting and you know bending over and picking stuff up and just th this thing didn't bother me in any way shape or form uh, one thing I guess a couple downfalls of it is you cannot charge the uh, your light in here some of some holsters are, have it where you can this is not one of those you can't do that something else is you know if you have a threaded barrel or a comp or what you know whatever people are running nowadays this is not which you might be able to message them in the notes and ask them to make you know to do this stuff for you but like right now as it comes you cannot fit a uh, any any kind of muzzle device or anything out this end you're pretty much stuck with this but it does have this crack right here you know so it's not catching debris and stuff inside of there something else let me see if I can get you a good a good shot of this is in here you're not you don't have an excellent you know where your uh, finger well is right here your trigger guard it's you know Something could potentially get down in there. Yes, it would have to be one in a million chances, something just perfectly, but I mean, I can almost fit my finger. You know, I could definitely, and like I say, this is trying, but I can definitely get right there and pull the trigger if need be. So potentially something could, but you would, you would almost have to be trying for something to get down in there. But as you can see, it has to, it's wide to accommodate that light right there. And then it just, you know it doesn't seal back up so take that into consideration it's not a deal breaker for me it's just something you got to pay attention to especially when you're reholstering you don't want none of a bunch of your shirt wadded up in there and accidentally pull the trigger and you know ruin your life for you but I mean it's also if you want to get this it's got the the nook right here for suppressor height night sights so that you know that's always a plus you know anytime they make these holsters to where you can still upgrade your your gun or do other things to your gun that you might want to do is you know it's always cool just give you a little more freedom a little more leeway to do what you will but I mean yeah folks this is I, I love this holster and like I say I'm gonna put in a bunch of reps with it and you know just get trained get get faster with it and uh, I'll, then I like I say I'll bring y'all to the range with me and let y'all actually see you know what what you can do with it which you know I'm not not a professional I'm not one of these guys that can get a half a second shot off out, out of concealment and then reholster you know I'm not not one of those guys I'm just an ordinary guy who likes guns likes lights likes this kind of stuff likes holsters likes to you know keep my family and people around me my friends and myself safe and uh you know just like I say, there's this is I've looked all over YouTube and this holster right here nobody has this holster I mean, MIE makes it, but that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a review for this specific holster. I could not find one yet, so that's why I'm making this. I'm not trying to, you know, be some big YouTube star or nothing like that. I just wanted, you know, I, get, I learn a lot of information, get a lot of reviews off of YouTube, and, you know, kind of influences my decision, and I couldn't find one for this gun, this setup, you know, this holster. So that's the main reason I'm making this. Uh, I'll, I'll roll in a, some clips here in a minute. I'll actually go ahead and hook this up and show y'all what it looks like outside the waistband what it looks like split up and I'm not gonna have y'all sit here and watch me tinker through all over but you know just so y'all have an idea is that something you'd be interested in what it's gonna look like in various places but uh yeah just hang around I'll show you a couple quick clips of that and then be on your day show you now what it's like when you got it split apart so as you can see you can just run the single clip works fine it's not you know it's got a little bit of movement but some people like that so that's something you go for if you want to split this up there you go if not you can definitely I'm not going to do this if you get the idea but you can put this in your two slots here put that in your slots there and then you got a dual clip you can set up that way if you want to so I mean it's definitely not going to be an issue it's actually offset a little bit so if you did that it's going to suck the I don't know if you can see this See how they're offset a little bit like that? So it's actually going to pull this end up, which is going to suck the butt of your gun in like that. So cool deal, cool little extra, but you know, so it's nice and you know, it's not going to give you any issues like that. I like, you know, not bad at all if you just want to 
you know, with it without the mag carrier. And then of course this, you would take this piece off, but I didn't feel like unscrewing all these. And you know, you could take this, put it there, put it around your back here. I mean, wherever you want this thing, if you wanted it in the cargo, you know, whatever you wanted to do, you could do it. If you wanted to take this one and put your two belt you belt loop clips on it, you could run this, you know, if you're wearing a jacket or whatever, run that on the outside and still carry your gun appendix. However you want to do it, they've made this thing where you can pretty much do whatever you want however you want this is if you decide to pull the the mag caddy off of there and then you put your you know the spare clip they send you with you can put two of them on here and with this way man you can really you can adjust your can any way shape you want I didn't put this on the right way just for demonstrations it was quicker this way but you know you've got these four holes right here then you've got your five holes on this and so I mean if you put this lower it's gonna cant your gun you know it'll actually hold it more like a level but if you raise this up like I did and move this one all the way down, what you're doing is your belt's going to, you know, cant that like this. So it's going to suck this in down because the clip's high. It's going to suck this in up because the clip's low and do just like that there so your butt's sticking out more. But, I mean, it's perfectly comfortable. Nothing. Oh, I can get it off my pants there. So, I mean, you see what I'm talking about? Like if it was level, it would be sitting like that. But since, watch the gun kicks that gun up a little bit lets you be able to get a better grip on your pistol sits in there fine you can see it a little bit right there also got this belt loose so, I mean no issues right there you may be able to see a little bit of that fat tire look but not bad all right here's what it looks like I don't have it cinched down or nothing I just got it loose to the place here so y'all can see what it looks like but Put it around, feed it through your belt loops and through your belt and then you've got a 3 o'clock outside the waistband holster. If you so choose to run it like this with your mag right, carrier right there beside it, you can. You know, you can adjust this any way you want. But, uh, you yeah, know, folks, I just can't express how much I like this holster. I'm, uh, I'll stay in touch as soon as I am able to get some reps put in with it and, you know, get a more informed decision on how this thing actually operates I will definitely get back with y'all and so you can find out but yep like I say this is the MIE production centerfold appendix inside the waistband holster for the P365 the recover tactical rail and the Olight PL Mini 2 so if you have any questions holler at me in the comments if not y'all just have a good day